Good morning. We're coming to you from Plains, Georgia, home of Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States. Behind us here is the National Park Visitor Center site, which also was Plains High School. So we're going to go inside here and see what we got going on. Let's go make some memories. It's talking about the Jimmy Carter Historical Park, three locations, the Plains Depot, Plains High School, which is where we are right now, constructed in 1921. It was a school until 79. President and Mrs. Carter attended grades 1 through 11 in this building, as there wasn't a 12th grade until 1952 in this area. Wow, interesting. The building sat vacant for several years, and it was restored. There's also the Jimmy Carter Boyhood Home, and they do offer a Junior Ranger program here as well. This is what the old high school building looks like. Storyboard here. Same stuff that I just saw before, 1921 through 79. All right, here's kind of a map of planes. This is where we're at right now. Billy Carter service station, Plains Depot. This is the whole downtown area. We're gonna hit all that area. This is where the Carter home is now. It's obviously, it's close to the public. It's where he's been residing ever since he left office. And then down this road here, it says Haunted House. Haunted House? You might have to drive down there and see what that is. And the Carter, because we have to go that way anyway, because the farm's down this way. Inside the gift shop here. Patches are nice. They got pins, pens, coins, books, all kinds of goodies in here. Oh wow, this is cool. student wants to be sent the principal's office isn't that the truth i didn't spend a lot of time in the principal's office when i was in school Ooh, punishment board and the bell for change of classes this high school was segregated unfortunately back in the day we got some old trophies here they still have an old sink here and I'm here. Scrapbooks. Cool. Rural education. Definitely different than what I was used to. I grew up in the city. The Plains High Buffaloes. this tall stack of books. That's cool. Plains High School, 226 students, 12 teachers, 14 classrooms. They had running water, an auditorium and a cafeteria. Ward's Chapel Church did not. Wow. Got all these old trophies. books oh look at the classroom look at the classroom how cool old globe look at this europe after 1924 and currently in the news right now everything going on with ukraine and russia joined the USSR in 1923 and now they're separate but all the conflict going on there a lot of Europe looks the same but there's a lot that looks different Yugoslavia right here that's no more that's been broken up hmm. up 
up in the front of the classroom is a picture of the first president, George Washington. It says, the books, the dust, the things you see may spark a little memory, but please don't take or break or move, for surely if you do, there will be nothing to enjoy for those who come after you, Miss Julia. What was your favorite school memory? Depends on which school you're talking about, I guess. Depends on which school. Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher? That's a tough one. I had a lot of good ones. I had a lot of good teachers, especially in elementary school. High school, my favorite teacher was probably my French teacher, Mrs. Paquette. We used to call her Madame Paquette. She was, who was our third US president. Hmm, I guess it was multiple choice there. Women's restroom and exit that way. There's stairs, but you can't go into the upstairs. It says exit to the women's restroom in the north parking. Where's the men's restroom? I'm gonna have to hunt for it here. Ooh, somebody just became a junior ranger. I wonder who that was. I think I might know her. What can you do? That's cool, people have left messages. What can you do to improve things? What can you do? Jimmy Carter is definitely known for having done so many things since he left office. He's been a very active, he's been a very, very active uh, president since he's left office. He's done a lot. He even mentions that here, ambassador to the world. Wow, look at this. Habitat for Humanity commissioned this quilt. Wow, that is gorgeous. It's huge. It's bigger than me. Not that I'm huge, but you know what I mean. The Camp David Accords. Very, very cool. This is my first time going to any presidential, like, historical site or presidential, I guess, library, so to speak. Oh, look at this. They have a little thing where you can... It looks like you're sitting at the... It says the buck stops here. You got the seal down there. And a replica of the Resolute Desk. So it looks like you're in the Oval Office. There's even a phone there. I'm going to have to come back and take a picture there. Look at the smile on his face. Reading the headline from the Columbus, Georgia Inquirer. It says, Carter wins. signed by everybody. My grandfather, when he was alive, my maternal grandfather, he was a huge Jimmy Carter fan. I actually used to have a bank, a piggy bank, like the big statue that you saw in our short earlier in the week. This is cool. I like this stuff. Post-it notes. Donated to Jimmy Carter's presidential headquarters. Where he spoke during his campaign for president, they kept the podium. That's neat. A reminder, when you come to places like this, don't touch the exhibits except for the stuff that you're allowed to touch. Because you want it to be there for others to enjoy. Some of the campaign buttons. Billy Beer. Peanuts from Plains, Georgia, of course. Time Magazine cover. Georgia Governor Jimmy Carter. It's pretty cool that he stayed living in Plains, Georgia. After all the years of being president, he could have went anywhere. But it's neat that he still stayed true to his town. That's cool. A lot of people don't do that. the end of the line here this is a very well put together uh, historical site I like this this visitor center is really nice when you, want to you get to vote in the voting booth look at the old school drinking phones what do they 
they still work? Nah, they don't work anymore. Community room. That's just all our stuff. You're not supposed to go past there. So when you are here, they do have men's and women's restrooms in the visitor center. You just have to exit the building. You go out, the men's is right, literally right outside this door and the women's is outside the door on the other side. And they're very clean and taken care of, which is great. <laughs> finished up our visit here to the old Plains High School which is now the Jimmy Carter Visitor Center part of the historical site uh, it was really cool there's a lot of neat exhibits in there as you saw it's definitely worth a stop so if you're passing through the area even if you don't have time to do a lot of stuff in Plains I think you should still come check this out at least at the minimum it's very cool all right thanks guys for watching if you like this video hit that like button share it with somebody who likes presidents why not Leave a comment down below who was your favorite president. That might stir some controversy, I don't know, but leave it in the comments down below. Let's get some discussion going. There's nothing wrong with having some good discussion. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you're subscribed, appreciate it. If not, hit that red button down below. Thanks for watching as all, guys. If you want to buy us a cup of coffee, that buy us a coffee link is down below in the description. All right, thanks for watching as always. We'll see you soon.